ready for a commander in chief who will let our warriors do their job and go kick ISIS ass. Ready for someone who will secure our borders to secure our jobs and to secure our homes. Ready to make America great again. Are you ready to stump for Trump? I'm here to support the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and the man who wrote the book, Jeffrey Lord, contributing editor for the American Spectator, former aide to uh, Ronald Reagan, CNN commentator and author of what America needs, the case for Trump. There it is on your television screen, Jeffrey Lord. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello there, Steve, my friend. Great to talk to you again, sir. All right, so there was Sarah Palin. We had it live here on the show last night as she made the announcement. How, how did this come about? And, 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 you know, who reached out to who, as far as you know, and how big a deal is this? Well, if you remember a number of years ago, they, I think they had an introductory meeting, and there was much uh, ado about it at the time. It showed the two of them eating in one of the Trump restaurants there in Trump Tower. Yes. Uh, I believe, as they say, they've kept in touch. And uh, I don't know all the details, but I am led to believe that they have uh, a bit of a relationship here uh, and communication has been ongoing. And, you know, she has now stepped forward and made her decision. So I found it very interesting because I know that she campaigned for Ted Cruz in his Senate race. Yes. So uh, she has stepped forward here and bravo to her. I mean, this could be significant in, in terms of Iowa. She is very well thought of, I think, in Iowa among evangelicals and Christians and and very well thought of with a lot of uh, conservatives around the country. Yeah, and she had a rousing uh, welcome in Tulsa earlier today when she uh, campaigned uh, for Trump, actually came out this time before Trump instead of having Trump stand on the stage. Uh, so, I mean, it, it, it looks like, uh, you know, it looks like it's going to be Trump. Uh, I think he's, he's, he's overtaking the momentum in Iowa to a certain extent, although that's going to be close. Uh, I think he's, uh, he's scored effectively with his attacks on Cruz. And New Hampshire is a, is a cakewalk. South Carolina is going to be a cakewalk. Then Vegas or wherever. I mean, I just don't see anybody stopping him. Yeah, I, I think particularly if he wins Iowa, I, th I think we're beginning to see this uh, get moving here. And to be candid, candid I, I'm a little surprised because I thought for a while this might be so close that it would be one of these back and forth situations like the Reagan and Bush duel in 1980 or the Obama Clinton, the Hillary Clinton duel in. Uh, in 19 in 2000 excuse me 2008 but uh, it may may be that he's just going to clean up right off the bat we will see soon enough so you're surprised how easy it could be yes yeah. yes I mean he's really quite strong which I you know there's a reason for this Steve I mean this doesn't I mean I realize that our our friends inside the beltway are baffled at this but I mean I live out here in central Pennsylvania I, this is America here and people are upset Interestingly, somebody that I know here that I've gotten to know through my CNN work, but here in a local television station, the guy has not had a full, he's got an electrical engineering degree from Penn State, he's 56 years old, he hasn't had a full-time job in three years. Well, that's, that's all right, Trump, uh, uh, Obama will bring in uh, foreigners to take that job. And it's, yeah. and, and it's to that point I want to get to your book, because you wrote this book, I believe, in part, uh, on Trump, What America Needs, because you believe that those who supported Donald Trump were being given an unfair shake in the media. Correct, correct. I mean, I, I am just everlastingly tired of seeing these people, these Trump supporters, portrayed as a bunch of bigots and racists and xenophobes and, and all of this kind of thing. When they talk about, when Donald Trump talks about illegal immigration, to use the case in point here, there is no one in America, you, me, and everyone we know, and everyone in our family, who is not descended from an immigrant. This is a nation founded not on ethnicity or right. race, but founded on principles of freedom and liberty. All we're saying, like every other country, if you want to come here, then you stand in line, you wait your turn, Absolutely. and you come in. And, and he started That's the it. conversation, and it's resonated. And again, Jeffrey, great to talk to you. What America Needs, The Case for Trump by Jeffrey Lord. There it is. Pick it up, Jeffrey. Great to talk to you, my friend. Thank you, Stephen. All right, the Malsberg panel is next. Don't miss it. <laughs>